Okay, so here we go. This is the 1.5 lens. We ran a standard material test card. Yes, some people will tell, tell me that these little damn circles are not the greatest way to identify what power and speed you should use, but it gets you a starting point. For us, a starting point says 10 and 50, but we would probably go up to 60 or 70. Um, this is, it's called time and experience determining that. But these cut all the way through, you can see the engraves. Um, this material is crappy birch from Home Depot or maple or whatever it is. It's about the cheapest you can find minus the five millimeter underlayment. Um, and you can see that it cut, it cut through uh, at 10 and 50. Now we did another one with the 2.5 lens. Sorry, I don't have a two inch lens. If somebody wants to buy the damn thing for me and send it, I'll be more than happy to test it. Um, but here we go. So look, 10 and, 10 and 50 again. This one at 15 and 90. So I know 90, maybe 15 and 100%. You can still see the engraves look good. It's the same piece of material that came right out of that hole right there. Um, now this is what I want to caution everybody to. See the size of that kerf? So the two and a half inch has a bigger kerf versus the 1.5. This 1.5 did not cut through. We had to adjust that outside perimeter. It was just a little bit too underpowered to completely cut all the way through. So, uh, or a little too fast, uh, the boss says. So you can see now my air was the little nozzle was all the way up because that's just the way we run it for right now um and you can see the amount of residue that we got there the amount of residue there but when we start getting up into higher speeds there's not really a lot of residue so again 1.5 there's the two uh and or 2.5 and then we uh the next set uh will be the four inch Okay, so we just ran some tests on the bolt. This is the four inch lens. This is at my normal 1.7 millimeter focus, just like the original ramp test. This is nothing hinky, uh, nothing funky on, you know, setting your autofocus. So we have, we just randomly picked. So we picked seven millimeters a second, and then we started at 100, 75, 50, 25% power. And then for shits and giggles, we did two millimeters a second with 100% power. Now we're gonna turn it on in and see what it looks like on how deep it went. So you can look, this is half inch plywood. It's actually decent plywood. Um, I think it's a birch, I'm not sure where I got it from, but it's a quality plywood. And you can see, there is two millimeters a second. You can see the char, you can see, you know, how it opens up in there, and you can see that size of that damn kerf. And then there's 25, that's about how deep it went. 50, 75, and 100%. So again, I randomly picked seven millimeters because most of the cuts that we found on the test cards were five to 10 millimeters a second is what was cutting through on let's say quarter of an inch um so i hope that gives people an idea of just how deep you can cut and the nice straight line uh that happens when you have everything aligned properly